Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem next permutation. So what the problem says is that you are supposed to implement the next permutation function which rearranges the numbers into numerically next greater permutation of the numbers for a given array of size n, right? So here you can see that suppose the given array is 1, 2, 3, the size is 3. The next greater permutation or we can say the just larger permutation is going to be 1, 3, 2. Right, there can be a lot of permutation of 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, say 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3 and so on. But among all those permutation, after this permutation, this is the just larger permutation. Similarly, for 1, 1, 5, we can have 1, 5, 1 as the answer. So we are supposed to return this new permutation as our output. So let's see that what we can do. A brute force solution can be what? A brute force solution can be to just calculate all possible permutations and then check that which permutation is just larger than the current permutation. So we can just go and calculate all the possible permutation, store them in a particular storage and then one by one compare the uh, permutation calculated with the given uh, sequence of numbers. The permutation which is having the just larger sequence of number than the, with, when compared with the original ones, we will return that permutation. So in order to generate all the permutation, we will be requiring n factorial time and then we need to compare them. So the overall time complexity of this solution will be big O of n factorial. Let's see if we can optimize this on a bit. So let's say that in order to optimize it, what if the whole given sequence is sorted in decreasing order? just like let's say 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, right? So suppose this is the given sequence, then what will be the next larger permutation? There can be no next permutation in this case. Why? Because this is the largest permutation that can be done for, uh, for the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the largest possible permutation. And if this is the case, then obviously we cannot do anything. So no next permutation is possible here, right? This can be one of the cases. Let's see for any general case. So let's say that in for any general case, this graph depicts the given sequence. So let's suppose our sequence is depicting a graph just like the above one. Now what we can see here is the sequence starting from the number y till the end is a decreasing sequence, right? This is a decreasing sequence. And we know that we cannot do anything for a decreasing sequence because for this particular sequence, it is the largest possible one. Right. So if we will just consider a subarray starting from the element y till the last element, this is a decreasing order sequence and no just larger permutation can be done. So the best thing that we can do is start from this number x, right? That is just before the number y. So we need to make the changes from element x only. What we can do? We need to find a number z that is just larger than x right so we need to find a number z which is just larger than x and then swap the two numbers right so we can just swap the two numbers so z will come here and x will come here now here you can see that we will be able to find a better permutation but still it is not the just larger permutation why because even if we just replace x at this point of time still this sequence is a uh, decreasing sequence right even if we just swap z and put z at the position of x and x at the position of z, still the sequence starting from the number y till the very end is still a decreasing sequence. And this is not going to be the largest possible, uh, the just larger sequence, right? Why this is going to happen? Let us see. So let's say that we are having a sequence like this one. So four is going to depict the number x, five is going to depict the number y, which is just larger than x. And y is going to depict the number seven because after y, starting from y and after y, everything is sorted in decreasing order. So what we'll do, we'll just swap 4 and 5. We will get this. And here you can see that if we are getting 1, 5, 8, 5 and some numbers here, then here you can see that if we can just fix this part, 1, 5, 8, 5, we can have a lot of permutation that can be generated using 7, 6, 4, 3, 1. Some permutations can be 6, 7, 4, 3, 1 or 4, 3, 6, 7, 1 or 3, 6, 1, 7, 4. One of the permutations will be also 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. And here you can see that among all the permutations possible, this is going to be the smallest one. That is, among all the larger permutations, that is, all the largest permutations, this is going to be the smallest among all of them. That is, the just larger thing that we are going to find. 
now why i am keeping this 1585 as a static as in why i am keeping this part as fixed because we want the just larger permutation and among the larger permutations we want the uh, or we can say the among the larger permutation we want the smallest one and we can see that if we will just avoid changing the most significant number so everything on the left part is what a more significant part of my sequence so if we will see if we will just avoid changing the most significant numbers of the sequence and just change the lesser significant number that is the thing which are on the right side of my uh, sequence then this will be a step forward to get a smallest larger permutation because some permutation can be what 5 8 5 and something here right so obviously this will be larger than this one because the number 1 is obviously lesser than the number 5 so this sequence is going always going to be larger so we should try to avoid changing the most significant numbers so what we what the whole algorithm says is that we'll just find a number x such that x is the first number from the right which is less than y right where or we can say we are going to find a number ai which is uh, just le lesser than a of i plus 1 and this i is checked from the right side right as soon as we have found it we'll just swap it and what we'll do after this number uh, after this point that is when where the original x was present we'll just reverse the rest of the sequence that is this sequence will be uh, sorted in uh, ascending order so this will be sorted in ascending order or we can just say we can just reverse it why because originally it was sorted in decreasing order and then we will be able to find our just larger permutation so we just need to make the changes from element x only we need to find a number z which is just larger than x then swap these two numbers and we just reverse everything after the uh, number after this position where originally x was present right so here you can see that finding this number x takes o n time and then just reversing everything after x takes o n time so the overall time complexity for this solution is going to be big o of n and obviously we are not taking any space because in the original solution of brute force we were taking some space in order to store all the possible permutation so i hope you got the logic for the problem and we will meet in the next video so thank you guys see you next time